Imagine hurtling through the void of space at over 40 kilometers per second a cosmic traveler from another star system, brushing past Mars like a fleeting shadow before diving toward our sun. What if, in that instant, upon closest approach, it decided not to leave? What if it whispered something we can't quite understand? That's the tantalizing mystery unfolding right now with 3i. Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to grace our solar system. Discovered just months ago, this enigmatic visitor is set to vanish behind the sun on October 29, 2025. Astronomers will be in a tense waiting game. Is it just a frozen relic from a distant world? Or could it harbor something more extraordinary? Today, we are delving very deeply into the scientific anomalies and debates that have the space community buzzing. Stick around as this interstellar drama is explained to us. And if you're as hooked as I am, hit that like button to show your support for more deep dives into the cosmos. Let's start at the beginning because every great space story has won. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope Network in Chile spotted a faint ray of light in the night sky. At first glance, it looked like any other comet, icy, dusty, trailing a hazy coma as it warmed in the sun's glow. But quick calculations revealed something extraordinary. Its path wasn't bound to our solar system. With a hyperbolic orbit carrying it from the direction of the constellation Lyra 3i, Atlas was pegged as an interstellar interloper the third after the cigar-shaped Daumuamua in 2017 and comet Borisov in 2019. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory revealed its additional solar origins within days using data from the Minor Planet Center's global network of observatories. What makes this discovery even more thrilling? Unlike its predecessors, which passed quickly through fanfare, Atlas is putting on a show. It already swung by Mars at a tantalizing 29 million kilometers close enough that Perseverance and other rovers captured grainy images of its glow against the Martian horizon on October 4th. Additionally, as it approaches perihelion, its closest solar approach at about 1 point for astronomical units or 210 million kilometers, it is preparing for Venus and Jupiter flybys. This isn't just a flyby, it's a grand tour scripted by gravity itself. Now, to appreciate why 3i Atlas has astronomers scratching their heads, we need to talk size because this thing is a beast. Early estimates from Hubble Space Telescope images snapped when the comet was 277 million miles away pegged its nucleus at around 20 kilometers across, roughly the size of Manhattan Island. That's massive. For comparison, Oumuamua was a meager 100 to 200 meters in length, while Borisov measured about a kilometer. Plugging that diameter into dynamical models, assuming a typical comet density of around 500 kilograms per cubic meter, gives Atlas a mass of approximately 33 billion tons that's heavier than some small mountains on Earth, hurtling through space like a runaway freight train. But now comes the weird part. Surveys like PanStars and the upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory are designed to catch these fast movers. According to statistics, for every object like this, we should have spotted thousands of interstellar objects of smaller size by now faint spakes outnumbering the big ones by factors of 10,000 or more. Following the distributions governed by power laws for asteroid and comet populations, Yet, Atlas is our third hit, and it's the heavyweight champion from the start. Panstar's analysts have examined the numbers in internal reviews, estimating the odds of this sequence at less than 1 in 10,000. Is it coincidence, or a clue that our models of interstellar wanderers need a rethink? That size feeds into another puzzle, outgassing. Comets emit gases as they warm up water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane like a celestial geyser. For Atlas, the near-infrared spectrograph of the JWST detected a stunning result at the end of September, demonstrating that CO outpaces water ice by an 8 to 1 ratio far richer in dry ice than any solar system comet we've seen. That's like finding a snowball made mostly of freezer burn. This volatile mix suggests Atlas spent eons in the frigid depths of interstellar space, keeping its ices in perfect condition. 
and the activity is vigorous, clocking in at 100 to 150 kilograms per second of gas production enough to fuel a faint green glow in its coma from CN and C fluorescent carbon molecules, delighting amateur astronomers worldwide. But here's the head-scratcher, despite all this, there has been zero detection of non-gravitational acceleration. Outgassing, in terms of a comet, acts like mini-rocketry, nudging the nucleus off its purely gravitational path by a measurable amount. Atlas, however, seems to be defying expectations. The small planet sends additional 4,000 astrometric positions exhibit nothing, no drift, no curve. The upper limit, a measly 15 meters per day squared, is so faint it's practically whispering. For a typical comet, it should have been shoved by gas flow distinctly skewed. The Monte Carlo simulations run by groups at the European Southern Observatory confirm it. Only a nucleus bigger than 5 kilometers and greater than 1,000 kilograms per square meter fits the data without invoking unlikely symmetries like jets firing in perfect opposition. In short, Atlas is acting like a heavy, solid rock, oblivious to its own fireworks and don't get me moving in the right direction. Most interstellar objects should barrel in at wild angles, slicing through the ecliptic plane like a knife through butter. But at LS, it's skimming along at just a five tilt, almost cozy in the plane through which our planets jive. Then come the close proximity flybys, Mars on October 3rd, followed by Venus in November and Jupiter by March 2026. Orbital experts calculate the odds of one such encounter for a random object at about 1 in 100. Chain three together and you're looking at one in a thousand or rarer. It's like threading a needle three times while blindfolded. This setup positions Atlas perfectly for gravitational assist soar if you're feeling speculative for a strategic pivot at perihelion. Early images from Gemini South added fuel to the fire, a bright future glow on the side facing the sun, asymmetric and resistant to motion-based explanations blurred before it became a standard tale. Spectroscopists are still debating if it's a crust cracking or just geometry playing tricks. Head to Harvard. Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist, is the man who's never shied away from trying new things. You may be associated with Aumuamua debates where he suggested that the rock's strange acceleration may indicate alien tech, a light sail pushed by sunlight. Anomalies in Loeb's stacking with atlas-like building blocks, the improbable size, the silent outgassing, the planetary parade, the ecliptic hug, and bizarre chemistry appear in a recent Medium post and preprint paper. He argues the probability of all this aligning naturally dips below 0.005%, a statistical warning sign calling for scrutiny. He's even floated wilder connections, like whether Atlas could be the source of the 1977 WOW signal that mysterious radio burst Ohio State's bigger telescope discovered. Loeb is not claiming evidence of ET. He is pushing for maximum observation, especially during the upcoming solar blackout. Beginning in the middle of December, Atlas will be lost in the sun's glare. Earth, sun, and comet in perfect alignment. Our planet, blinded by the solar furnace, will prevent any ground-based scope from piercing it. Even Hubble and JWST's safety protocols kick in to avoid pointing at the sun. Solar instruments like the Parker Solar Probe might capture a few observations via coronagraphs, but their tools are tuned for storms, not faint comets at magnitude 12 or dimmer. At the equator, moving at 44 kilometers per second, a subtle delta via speed tweak of 8 kilometers per second could flip its hyperbolic path to elliptical, trapping it here forever, invisible to us, but etched into its orbit for later reading. Naturally, the mainstream chorus pushes back gently but firmly. NASA's Tom Statler, lead for small bodies, sums it up. It looks like a comet. It works like a comet. Karen Meech, who led Aumuamua studies, and Olivia Hano from ESO confirm that comets are erratic. Unpredictable volatiles, selection biases, survey limits, and the sheer vastness of space explain the quirks without invoking the extraordinary, the green glow, early activation from CO sublimation. 
The mass a dense primordial nucleus from a metal-rich star system and the trajectory coincidence in a galaxy with a ton of possibilities. Loeb's critics, like Penn State's Jason Wright, appreciate the vigilance but warn against pattern-seeking that veers into pareidolia, seeing faces in clouds or spacecraft in comets, and let's confront a widespread misconception. Yes, this isn't proof of aliens. Extraordinary claims necessitate extraordinary proof. Right now, Atlas fits awkwardly but plausibly into the natural bin. Claims fabricated originate from statistical discomfort, not smoking guns like radio signals or metallic glints. Colin Snodgrass, an expert on comets for ESA, noted in a recent interview that comets have surprised us in the past they're not always tidy. Testing these ideas is what makes science thrive, staying away from headlines. What comes next? Early December marks the big reveal. Mauna Kea's observational facilities in the Atacama will pounce, measuring spectral shifts, orbital adjustments, and rotation changes. By March 2026, as Atlas nears Jupiter, we'll know if it's still heading outward or if gravity or something else has claimed it. Missions like Europa Clipper might even get a parting glance. Until then, it's a masterclass in patience, reminding us how much of the universe plays out in the shadows. In conclusion, 3i, Atlas isn't just a comet. It's a reflection of our curiosity about the stars. From its colossal size defying survey stats to its silent sprint despite fiery outgassing and the heated debate between natural chaos and calculated intrigue, it embodies the thrill of discovery. Whether Loeb's anomalies prove pivotal or fade into footnotes, one thing is obvious. Interstellar visitors like this rewrite our cosmic neighborhood rules. They spark questions that propel us forward toward better telescopes, bolder missions, and maybe, just maybe, a deeper comprehension of our position in the galaxy dot dot. And hit the alarm for further investigation of the unknown. Share with a fellow space nerd and let's keep gazing up together. Thanks for joining me on this journey across the stars.